So you find yourself scrolling through listings on a popular online auction site, and you come across a large collection of Lionel Rolling Stock. The photo shows a dozen or so cars, but the photo doesn't show much detail. But the listing does include car numbers like 6457, 6111, 3460, and so on. Long-time post-war collectors will often have these numbers memorized so they know exactly what the items are. But what if you're new to the hobby or only have a passing interest in post-war items? How do you know what the items are? Well, you could look up each of the numbers online looking for matches, or you could reference the numbers in a price guide, or you could crack the code of Lionel's post-war numbers and get a good idea of what's in the lot very quickly. Hello again, this is Mike with another episode of Toy Train Tips and Tricks. Now before we begin, recognize that this code only works for Lionel's post-war items. After 1969, MPC, LTI, Lionel, LLC each followed their own unique catalog systems. Also, this system only works for rolling stock, not for locomotives or accessories, which followed different codes. And as with any system, there are going to be a few exceptions. Most of the exceptions make some sense if you think about them differently, more from a manufacturing point of view rather than from hobbyist. But then again, some of the exceptions don't really make any sense at all. But the code is accurate in more than 90% of cases. Each of the four numbers on a piece of Lionel rolling stock has a specific meaning. The numbers are not sequential, meaning that a flat car number 7890 would not be followed by a next car 7891. So don't be confused when the items that share three out of four numbers are totally different types of cars. Lastly, most passenger cars follow their own rules in the 1800 series or in the 2400, 2500, or 2600 series. Okay, so let's crack the code. The first number is easy. It tells the class that the car belongs to. Zero is HO scale items. One is the Scout Series with Scout-type couplers or General Series cars that are in the 1800 series. Two is cars with early electromatic coil couplers and the non-General-type passenger cars. Three is operating cars. Four are cars from the electronic set and five is operating cars from the electronic set. Lionel must have had high hopes for that electronic set and its Paleo command control in order to devote two entire series numbers to rolling stock in that set. Six is what we'll call the regular series. This is after the coil couplers were replaced with magnetic couplers, even after Lionel started placing dummy couplers on some cars. This is why the vast majority of Lionel post-war cars start with the number six. Seven, eight, and nine were not used in the post-war era. The second number is a little more ambiguous, but it generally denotes the general level of detail or quality rating of a car. For example, scout cars and their descendants are zeros, as well as late post-war cars with no operating couplers. The standard line of cars is usually fours, such as the 6464 boxcars or 6462 gondolas, 6456 hoppers, and others. Cars with additional details or operating features can be fives and sixes. Ones, twos, and threes usually have less detail than a comparable four car. Seven, eight, and nines are kind of a mixed bag. Some are pre-war carryover items, and some have special loads, and others just seem to not really fit into any other category. Just that remember, for fives and below, the lower number usually means less detail. The third number is also a little ambiguous, but it generally denotes the appearance of a particular car or body style or size or decoration within a car series. For example, 6454 boxcars were replaced by 6464 boxcars. Both types had magnetic couplers and represented the same levels of detail, but the third digit tells us the appearance is different of the 6464 cars, uh, and they are significantly larger. For passenger cars, the last digit simply represents the next car in a particular series, such as 2531, 2532, 2533, etc. 
For freight cars, however, the fourth digit tells us the type of car, or actually more specifically, the type of load the car would carry, as Lionel appears to have considered the cargo type more important than the body style. Zeros are searchlight cars and those with a special load, such as a crane car, a rocket launcher, uh, usually some form of flat car with a permanent fixture attached. The 3530 mobile generator car is in this category because it carries a spotlight, even though it looks like a boxcar. Ones are cars that carry and or dump logs, helium tanks, and some other cars with special loads like transformers and boats. Twos are gondolas and other cars that carry barrels or canisters, like refrigerator cars and milk cars. Threes are unusual cars that seem to not fit any other category. Fours are box cars and their variants, and oddly enough, the Evans Auto Loader. Fives are liquid carrying cars, like tank cars, aquarium cars, atomic waste cars, and bat cars, plus a few oddballs like the Minuteman missile car. Sixes are cars that carry coal or animals, including hoppers, operating stock cars, and zoo cars. Sevens are cabooses, except for a few work cabooses, and strangely enough, the cop and hobo car. Eights are specialty box cars like double door automobile cars, mail cars, and then a few special flat cars like the girder bridge car. Nines are more flat cars and then a few oddballs of various types. The class of cars, the quality rating of the car, the appearance of the car, and the load of the car, C-R-A-L, or CRAWL, to help you remember the code. In practice, these numbers alone provide a great deal of information. For example, a number 1004 and a 6454 would both be boxcars, the last digit four, but the first has scout couplers, first digit one, while the second has standard magnetic couplers, first digit six. The middle numbers in this case tell us that the scout car lacks details, zero, while the other car is of the standard type, 4. We also know that they have different body types, 0 versus 5. The 6050 series Scout box cars are among the exceptions to the rule. Why do they end in 0 when 6054 was an available number? Maybe it was because of the coin slot in the top of the car. Who can say? Similarly, the 6457 is a premium SP style caboose, seven for caboose, four for rating, whereas the 6017 is a stripped down model, seven for caboose, but zero for rating. The 6257 has more detail than the 6017, but less than the 6457. For another example, the original 3462 automatic milk car became the 3472 and the 3482 as the car mechanism was modified over the course of production. When the body itself was modified and made larger, the car was renumbered 3662, with the second digit 6 indicating an improvement over the 4 of the original design. Then the new Bosco version of the car became 3672, indicating an appearance change. So you see, knowing the crawl code can help us better understand our Lionel Post 4 cars by knowing their relative value, history, and characteristics. But Mike, you say, what about those one, two, or three digit suffixes we sometimes see? Well, those are a topic for a different episode as they add a whole new can of worms to the story. In the meantime, just remember to crawl your way through the next train show or online auction when you're looking at Lionel Post 4 rolling stock. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and if so, please give us a like, share, subscribe, or comment on the code. What oddball cars do you know that don't fit the pattern? Until then, keep the trains running, not crawling, and we'll catch you next time on Toy Train Tips and Tricks.